Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video What we are gonna do, I have it here We're gonna do a full face of Moira Cosmetics I bought a full face Because they released some liners and I was like, listen, I love liners I've been into trying to play with like doing some Geometric, I, I'm not good at it, but listen, a bitch is trying, that's what I'm here to do <laughs> I'm here to play with makeup, so I decided to pick up a full face of Moira And we are gonna see if this is as good as other influencers say it is And if you haven't been here before, do consider subscribing Because I do upload quite a lot of videos every week, all about makeup, all about beauty So yeah, these are the liners that they released that made me go like, okay, it's time. It's time for me to try Moira. And it is the eye-catching dip liners and the statement gel liners. We're doing something green. I also bought a green single shadow. I didn't buy any of the eyeshadow palettes because honestly, I didn't think any of them looked like something that I would like use after I reviewed it. And I also wanted to buy something that was a little bit more new because I've heard that their newer formula has been like new and improved. I think this one is a cream. I mean, I do love me a good green. I don't know what I was thinking buying all greens because <laughs> this will be fun. But we're gonna do that a little bit later because I do have, I have setting spray, I have foundation, I have concealer and powder and bronzer and highlighter, lip products. And even lashes. Who knew? Okay, let's zoom in and let's start because I hope I bought the right shade. Classic beige. Am I a classic beige? I haven't even opened this one. Oh, be prepared to be shocked. Maybe a little dark, but we'll make it work. So this is a complete wear foundation, weightless full coverage in 350 a classic beige. I will say, please, Moira Cosmetics, if you see this, you have got to do something about describing your foundation shades, showing them all swatched together. Like, the way that you're showing, like, foundations and powders and concealers on your website, no bueno. Like, I, I can't see anything. Like, you didn't describe the shades. And this is probably why I got the wrong shade, because, like, how am I supposed to know when you're not giving me any, any information? So, yeah, this is definitely too dark, but here we are, and uh, this is what we're doing, and I am filming a new makeup releases after this. Love that for me. Will say, my body is a little bit more tan than my face, so maybe I'll get away with it. <laughs> definitely not full coverage. It's definitely a medium. Maybe it's buildable, but initial impression, if you're expecting full coverage, I don't think that this is giving full coverage. But I like the, the creamy, somewhat gel-like texture. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It's also not a liquidy foundation, but I think it looks good <laughs> if we don't look at the color. Just don't mind the color. I'll fix it. I think. But I would definitely not call this full coverage. I would say that this is a pretty, it's a pretty decent medium. Oh. But it's just the wrong color. It is not the right color when I scratch myself here. Am I gonna have to like <laughs> foundation this entire thing up to be able to wear this today? It will work in the summertime if I like it. It does say ultra long wear. So we'll see how this wears. I don't think I'll have time to do like a wear test today because I have a full schedule, but I'll put in the pinned comment down below how the foundation and concealer wore because I got the concealer in uh, 250 custard. And this is the Mega Concealer Waterproof Full Coverage. Don't really need a waterproof. I think that these colors will be good for me in the summer, but they're... <laughs> Definitely not good for me now. I do have a powder that I think is a little lighter. I'll see if I can cover a little bit of this up. Maybe we can lighten this up. Because I feel like this powder, if I just put this all over, maybe I'll be able to lighten this up a little bit. This concealer felt a little thick. And if you haven't, if you don't know, if you haven't been there before, I don't usually love a thicker concealer. They're usually very full coverage but they also are like very prone to creasing under the eyes. This is definitely too dark for me. Again, I am not super bad at picking out foundation shades. 
if you describe the shades, what are the shades? You can't just call them natural beige and then just custard. What? I need more. I need more information. So let's see if we can lighten this up with some powder. This is the Soft Focus Waterproof Setting Powder. Oh, this one needs to be opened. Hold. Yeah, I definitely think that if I do this on maybe a little bit, like a brush like this, and I'll start with setting my under eyes. I don't know if this one has any color. Maybe I can lighten this up a bit if you do like reverse contouring with a lighter powder you can give the illusion of having a lighter foundation that's why i'm doing like a little of the lighter powder here and just trying to make this look lighter i definitely think that this concealer is a little too heavy for my under eyes i don't think that this will be favorite for me. I don't hate the powder. Feels a little bit more drying than the NYX powder that I really like, but doesn't look or feel heavy on the skin. So I do like a pressed powder, so I will definitely keep using this one. So far, the thing that I don't like is the concealer. And then of course, oh my god, it's not horrible, but the color it's not ideal. I don't have any brow products, so I'll just put some on and then we can go into bronzer. I didn't buy any specific blushes because I think that we're gonna be able to use this as a glowy blush highlighter duo. It's a sun glow face and body highlighter and a sun glow face and body bronzer. I'm excited, these are huge. Again, I don't know 100% if I'm getting the right shades. Again, what I really wish that they would get better at on the site is just describing what's so rude. What stuff is? This is number 003 Summer Soul. So do I need bronzer? No. Am I still going to be using bronzer? Yes. Is there? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. I just needed, maybe this needs a firmer. Oh, there we go. There we go. Maybe it was just upper layer. Maybe it's just the upper layer, because now, maybe I just needed to break through something. Or maybe I just needed maybe a stiffer brush, or just to be a little bit more firm and picking it up. But I feel like when I'm a little bit more firm, it definitely picks up. That's, I mean, that is golden. I mean, I kind of like it. I don't mind being super glowy. But this is more than a... This is way more <laughs> than a like satin bronzer. This is this is like bronzer and highlighter in one. So I probably could even if I put this a little bit. Yeah, I, I put this a little bit up here as well. This could probably be like just a summer fresh all in one product. And maybe this is the product that I should be applying here to not get you to focus on the fact that the foundation is not my shade. And what did I do here? Like, that is intense, but that looks better, right? Let me pull a bill. I'll pull, I'll pull my top down, but I won't show you, okay? But I feel like now it looks better. I just needed to look a little believable for my new makeup releases. Like, if you're seeing this and you saw my new makeup releases, maybe you can let me know if you were fooled or not. So this is the face and body highlighter in also 003 Spicy Hue. And I was thinking that this would be the perfect just, oh, this picks up nice, all-in-one glow. Like a blush highlighter. Oh. That is really pretty. I mean, it's definitely not a like, you know, not seen highlighter. It's not one of those like melt into your skin, undetectable, like effortless glow. It's, it's definitely there. It's a highlighter that you see, but I do really like the peachy gold duochrominess. I do really like, okay, so far. I think this is my favorite. That's a really nice one. Did it need to be this big? 
that's not what she said but i maybe it's a little bit too big it's, it's coming from someone who never uses up their makeup i did buy one of the new lipsticks they did release signature lipsticks balm texture lip shine and i love a shiny lipstick and i got mine in they look like this i got mine in number five. Oh, that is a small text natural look that looks really good but i did buy one of the lip liners too and i bought the lip liner in must have lip liner in o2 natural sand because I'm 39. I have some texture around my lips and things will be bleeding. So I like defining my lips and I also like overlining just a smidgen. I like this formula. It's creamy but not overly creamy so that I can be precise without tugging. Okay. I am really liking this lip liner. I love the color. I love the texture. I love how it feels like it's actually going to keep my like lipstick in place and not like smear all over the place this isn't the right shade but let that slide let that slide oh okay this is delightful and i want more shades it's thin but you can still build it up it has a lovely sheen without looking goopy or like a, it's like a shiny lipstick feels amazing on the lips doesn't smell like anything big fan big fan i yeah the lip combo delightful very impressed okay let's see if we can open some of these up and just look at what these like actual liners look like let me just get them out of the packaging okay so i got the gel liner statement gel liner in number 08 lime Ooh, that is not super creamy but we'll see how i feel and then i got the eye catching dip liners and i got those in number nine shamrock and number eight also lime so this is the dip liners mm, seems a little sheer but maybe it's super easy to work with we'll see this is a dip in brush applicator also a little sheer but we'll see how this is once we work with it i think i'm gonna start actually with this eyeshadow this is a cream eyeshadow that says that it's long wearing so it should dry down that is stunning i don't know what i was thinking like it all matches but like maybe it matches a little too much so i think can we just can we just do this that is actually super pretty it's not overly creamy it feels a little bit more like like it, it does feel like a cream shadow that's gonna dry down let me just put it like that it definitely feels like a cream shadow that is not gonna be like overly sticky or just you know crease all over the place as long as i give it some time to dry down and i'm just blending and just dotting a little bit up towards the crease and we're gonna do some of the eyeliners on top of this. I actually think that that looks really pretty. I love the shine on it. And I was able to build it up and then sheer it out. We'll see how it dries down. I'm gonna use a little bit of a like detail brush and we're gonna put just a little bit in this inner part here. Yeah, this feels a little bit more like working with the Super Shock, meaning that it's easy to apply, it's easy to pick up with a brush too, and you can like spread it out with your finger. It's like a one-stop shop, and I will say I am very impressed with how this one is applying and how it's looking. I mean, that's looking really nice. I'll apply a little bit towards my inner corner as well. I'm really liking that. I think that looks beautiful and it hasn't creased. Very, very impressed with this. It also comes in an orange and for some weird reason, 
I don't know what I had been drinking. I didn't buy the orange, but now I kind of feel like I need to. I really did. I did enjoy that. That looks nice. Okay, so let me start with this one, which is that like pen liner. Because I think I'll be putting this in my waterline. Or maybe not. Do you see it? I mean, it's a little bit there. Ah, no, this is not creamy enough. In my humble opinion. I'll put a little bit under my eye, but I'll, I'll bring in something else for the waterline because this eyeliner, in my opinion, is not creamy enough. It's a little bit like an actual crayon. Okay, I managed to go over it in my waterline two million times and it's stuck and I like it. I think it looks cute. Okay, am I going to ruin this entire eye look? Probably. Let me do the darker one that's called Shamrock. Should I have a plan? <laughs> should I have a plan? I should have a plan. I'm trying to not overload the brush with pigment so that we can be a little precise, but I'm going to start with doing a wing like that. You know what? That actually looks, that looks good. Should I do like a, <laughs> I need to think what I'm doing. Can I just, let me just figure something out. What am I doing? Famous last words. I think I'm just going to do this lime one on top here and just see how it looks because again I'm 39 I have a bunch of like you can see my hood here I can't do too elaborated things because my folds are going to just make them look like distorted so let me see that is actually kind of cute Like a little double line. It's not 100% opaque, but I definitely can make this opaque with the second layer. I think the eyeliners are okay. They're not 100% opaque. They're a little bit almost like a almost opaque gel-like consistency. Um, they're okay, definitely, for a colored eyeliner. Not my absolute favorite, but honestly... I, I don't mind them. I think they're a solid, a solid B. <laughs> okay, so these are the Natural Effect Bionic Vegan Fa Lashes. I love the packaging of these. And they look like lashes that I could actually make into half lashes quite easily. Okay, so they're just like, let me pull this one out. Oh yeah, they definitely need some cutting. You can see that like on the edge here, you can see there's a, like a long plastic like thing on the side. Let me actually cut the one off on the side that I know I'm going to be keeping the longer side because I am going to be making these into half lashes because lashes that are like these, very, very flared, are going to make perfect half lashes. I actually think that's going to be really good. I'm going to cut off quite a lot. I'm going to cut off, if I can show you, I'm going to cut off somewhere here. So I'm cutting off two thirds of the lash. There's a big thunderstorm outside. Can you hear it? Because like it is thundering and lightning and just the whole show. So I'm just going to put some glue on this one and I'll put it on one side so that we can see the difference on having it on one side versus not having it on one side. I really think that half lashes can make such a difference in lifting your eyes, especially for me when I feel like things are starting to like, you know, Everything everything is just moving towards the, the middle of the earth with time. And I do think a half lash just lifts things a bit. So let's see if we can put this one on and what kind of an effect we can get. I kind of like that. It's just a little bit of a... A little bit of a lash at the end. Nothing like you can see. There's nothing like super dramatic. It's not like a lot going on. It's just a little bit of an extra volume at the end that I feel lifts the eye a little bit. And just because I have a little bit of a downturned eye, nothing 
spectacular but I have hooded eyes on the inner part and I have a little bit of a downturn here so I think that just keeping a half lash just lifts everything. I'm gonna put the other one on, we're gonna zoom out and we're gonna do the oil control setting spray which honestly looks suspicious. Okay, so I mean this is the makeup look. I really like how this is looking. The lash is more like dainty and demure than I have done in a really long time and I will say I, I think it looks like I don't have a lash on and I'm kind of enjoying that. Let me let me see what this is. That's a fine mist. It smells a little bit like skincare. Why is that a better mister than some high end? That's an amazing mister. 10 out of 10 on the mister. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but I guess time will tell. So what do I think about this? The lip product is probably my absolute favorite. That is beautiful. I love the lip product. I really love the single shadow. I think it is a beautiful product. It still has not creased on me. I think the um, crayon liner, this one, at least the green one, not that good. The dip liners, they're okay. Like if you're looking for a color dip liner, maybe you're already making an order from Moira. They're nice, they're okay. Not my favorite, but definitely doable. The foundation has a nice consistency. I like how it looks, but it's not my shade and they really do be needing to update how they describe and show shades and swatches because it was a mystery and I'm honestly, it, I'm usually better than this at picking out shades. Uh, I mean, I made it work, but like I did have to jump through some hoops. I really like the cheek product. I think they look really nice. I really like how those are looking. I mean, they're a little big. They're a little big for sure, but... I think it's really nice. I mean, Moira is a very affordable brand. And I do think that overall, the only things that I'm like, I don't like is the concealer. It's too heavy. It's already creasing a little bit. I didn't love that consistency and this green pen. All the other things I kind of like. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping my eye open for uh, this brand in the future because so far I, I like this look. I like what I did. Um, have you tried Moira? What do you think about their products? What is your absolute favorite? I would love to hear about it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again probably the day after tomorrow or tomorrow soon. I'll see you real soon again for a new video. Bye!